Okay, in the last part we got our flash buttons working so that we could click on these different uh, tabs, these tabbed buttons, right? And when we did that, you could see that we jumped to a different keyframe on our flash timeline. So if we look at that in flash, you can see here, here's my timeline, and you can see here the buttons take us to these different keyframes, right? And then the text changes. Okay, so what we're going to do though is we're going to mimic another site that I created. This is a site that I created recently and it takes us to different pages here. But on the front page there's this nice, very nice slideshow element that goes from image sample to image sample in a, in a, uh, a crossfade and a cross dissolve fade and you can see that what's also really nice about this slideshow at the beginning of the flash movie is that it has an interesting border notice the curve border here and the curve border here so it's got a mask on it and so I'm going to show you how to do that so that on our on this new site in which we're kind of um, modeling after that site we'll do a image here and we'll show you how to do a masked um, area for our slideshow and to do that, you need to have some images. So I got some images ready. And one thing, one problem though that I wanted to address right off the bat is notice on this site, I can scroll. You know, I've got the top area and then I can scroll down and see the rest of the content, right? I've got the scroll bar. But on this on this new site that we're working on, no scroll bar, right? And we know we have content that goes below the screen. So what's going on with that? That's no good. So what I did was is I brought up the two HTML files right here from the different sites. So and of course if you to do that all you gotta do is open up your your web page basically with your flash movie embedded in it and you go page view source or you open up your folder and you go to the folder where your site exists and you just open up your HTML file that holds your flash movie and open it up in, in, a, in an editor. Well anyway, and when I did that what I've noticed is that there's a difference between them and it's in the HTML here and you can see here that this one says um, body margin zero, padding zero, overflow hidden, right? And this one, where you have the scroll bar, the overflow says auto. So I'm going to change that from hidden to auto and see if that helps change the situation here. So I'm going to open up this file right here. And I'm going to open it with, let's just say, notepad. And I'm going to change that overflow hidden right here in this body area right here on this line. I'm going to change the overflow hidden to auto and hit file save and I'm hoping that that changes the situation here so let's see here now if I hit refresh you can see now I have a scroll bar so we'll be able to see the content that's below the screen so uh, <laughs> So that's nice. So I just got that. You know, if, if, if there's going to be more content down below the page, you definitely want to be able to scroll to see that. So that's the first thing that we solve. Okay, time to make this slideshow. So I've opened up my site in Flash, and I've got to figure out where this is going to go. Now, right now, we have some text content right here on this new layer, layer 11. So I'm just going to call this, um, I'll call this titles and text and I'm going to make a new layer up here make it a new layer and I'll call it content so I have titles and text and I also have a content layer I'm going to need a keyframe here so I'll right click insert keyframe and I'm going to want one here because there's probably going to be different content on each page so I can just put keyframes here blank keyframes or regular keyframes but anyway so this is where I'm gonna put my slideshow so when we get to the home page the slideshow will go right here alright and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import the images into uh, my flash movie that will be in the slideshow now 
you can do this different ways. This is the way I'm going to choose to do this. It's going to raise the size of my flash file a little bit, but that'll be okay. So import to library, and I'm going to look for these images, okay? Okay, so I'm going to import to library, and I'm going to, I've got them on a thumb drive, so I'll scroll down, and let's see here, nope, a removable disk, and these are my images that I'm going to import. So I'll just open that one, and now it should be in the library right let's import the rest file import import to library and I'll get this one and file and what I want you to do is just import the images that you're going to use for your slideshow and what I'll do is I'll just import let's say the first four to start with okay so now in my library I've got these four images and what they are are the, they're paintings that I did a long time ago and I'll just use them as a slideshow of uh, some oil paintings that I have so on my new layer content on the empty keyframe I am going to open this library and I will drag out this first image um, let's see here okay and so there it is so I've got this image dragged out and I'm going to approximate where I want it to go. Let's say it'll go right here, so this may, might be where the slideshow goes. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to select this image, this bitmap image, and I'm going to convert it into a symbol. So let's see here. I'll, open, I'll close this action window right here. And I'll say modify, convert to symbol and it's going to be a movie clip and I'm going to call it MC for movie clip dash slideshow okay click OK and so now if I select this this movie clip is called MC underscore slideshow and so this is where my slideshow is going to go into now what I'm going to do is inside of slideshow I'm going to have a timeline where the images fade in and fade out inside of this movie clip. So there's the tricky part right now. Inside of this movie clip is going to be where our slideshow plays. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this movie clip. So I'll double click on it. It's going to change. Right now you see we're in scene one here. And when I double click on this movie clip, we're going to go into the movie clip so that we're no longer in scene one. We're actually editing this movie clip, right? You can tell I selected. It's got a crosshair here, registration point. It's got a blue box around it. It's got a little circle in the center. And in the property window, it says, hey, this is an instance of a movie clip here called instance of MC slideshow. So I double click on it. And now I'm notice how our timeline disappeared because we've got a new timeline, the timeline that belongs to this movie clip MC underscore slideshow. So now I'm inside of it, right? Now inside of this timeline, what I'm going to do is on layer one, this is going to be for our first image. So I'm going to change the name to image one. Okay, so this will be where image one goes. And image one is now, since I went inside of the movie clip, no longer a movie clip. If I select on it, it's back to being a bitmap, right? And so what I want to do is I want this this bitmap to have the ability to you to change it and alter it like a movie clip so now that I'm inside MC slideshow I'm actually going to make this image a movie clip again and um, call it something else so I'm gonna select this bitmap image and I'll say modify convert to symbol movie clip and I'll call it MC IM or you know I'll just even call it IMG one okay IMG one and click OK so now this is IMG one and now I'm gonna say okay I want this image to play in my slideshow till let's say frame let's see my my movie plays 24 frames per second so if I want people to see this for one second it's got to stay on for at least 24 frames right so what I'll do is I'll say at frame 40 or frame 45, 
right? I want it to stay on stage, let's say, for two seconds, then it's got to go to, let's say, frame 50. So what I could do is, is on frame 50, I will hit F6 and make a keyframe. And now this movie clip will play till frame 50. And when it gets to, let's say, frame 45, I want it to start fading out. We'll say that. At 45, it starts fading out. So I'm going to put a, a um, I'm going to put, so here I put a keyframe. Right here I'm going to put another keyframe. I'm going to right click, insert keyframe. You can also hit F6 on your keyboard to make a keyframe. So insert keyframe. Right? So now this thing plays. You can hit control play and there it goes and then it just stops right there. So on this last keyframe if I select this guy I can go to style, alpha, and I can alpha it down to zero and it'll just disappear. Notice it just disappears. Alpha's to zero, alpha channel to zero, and there it is, it's gone, right? Now all I have to do is go back to this keyframe right here. I'll right click on it, create classic tween, and now it's going to just fade away. So there it is. So now if I was to play this, control play, it stays on screen and then fades away. All right, so that's starting our slideshow. It stays on screen, and then it fades away. And so time to get our next image.